staggering crime statistics year after year. St. Lucia's perennial issue with crime and violence seemingly knows no bounds. The bloody toll has taxed every facet of society, rich and poor, young and old. While some stage protests to raise awareness and draw attention to the dreadful situation, others, like President of the National Youth Council, Nias Alfred, uses his platform to call on stakeholders and officials to tackle the problem at the root cause. It is something that we have spoken on before and it is something that still continues um, to haunt us. It is something that still continues to concern us. And as much as it may be a cliche and it may be something that we've said before, this really shows the need for the authorities and for everybody who is a stakeholder, not just the government, but everybody who is a, who is a stakeholder to play their part. According to Alfred, the efforts to tackle crime must be hands-on and targeted. Going into the community, community programs to engage our young people who are being dis who are disadvantaged. Um, because as with anything, there is a reason why this criminal activity is happening. And I think that instead of being reactive as a society, we definitely need to be more proactive. We need to be more proactive in terms of the, the programming within these communities. We know where the criminal activity is more prevalent and we need to tackle it at that root. The National Youth Council is holding out hope for collaborative efforts among various agencies to address the gnawing issue of crime and violence. Moreover, Alfred points to the upcoming general election as an opportune platform for candidates to present their plan to address crime on St. Lucia. I'm really hoping that that is something that leading into the next general election that we see on the platforms of all our major political parties and all our political candidates that there is actually a sustainable plan to ensure that we deal with the criminal activity. We do not want it to be a case where we put a short-term plan in place, um, it works for one year and then crime rises again the next year. The plans for tackling crime need to be sustainable. The president of the NYC has called for rebuilding trust between police and citizens to foster deeper cooperation. He points to strengthening community policing coupled with interagency governmental interventions to help forge a durable approach to the crime fight. Sula Shalfred, HDS News Force.